Okay, I, I know it's in here somewhere. Let's see. Wait, is this it? No. Uh, oh, the K47. No, that's not it. Uh, uh, what about this, huh? No, uh, no wrong war. Hold on. Let's see. Um, Ah, here we go. I knew it was in there. Let me get it. Uh, let's see if I get this. Uh... Oh, hey. Uh, Desert Gold here. I got a little quick uh, video response I want to put together for uh, Ebo me. So uh, give me a second to get cleaned up here and uh, show you what we're doing. Hold on a second. Okay, everybody. Sorry about that delay. Uh, and they get situated here. Just a uh, real quick uh, VR here to Ebo me. I was watching um, one of his beer review channels on his uh, uh, Bandy Brew uh, channel. Uh, the one I was watching was Speaking Oktoberfest just put it out a couple of days ago on the 29th anyway uh, towards the end he's talking uh, about different things you know uh, that he collects and likes and we all do that and he, he this is uh, for you uh, you mentioned that uh, you really enjoyed the uh, uh, idea of the original uh, Vietnam era um, AR-15 or M-16, um, basically it was the, in that period of time it was the, the SP-1 model of the Colt AR-15 and I just so happened to have one said original uh, version of that and uh, you can tell the SP-1s, or the, this was, I purchased this back in 1969 uh, it's got maybe less than, I want to say, 100 rounds fired through it since that period. So it's basically, I don't know if you can see it, it's basically brand new. The uh, SP1s can be denoted by the fact that, uh, first of all, there's no forward assist. Back in that day, they didn't have them yet. Uh, no brass deflector. If you were a lefty, you were in big trouble. Um, mag release button is out in the open. There's no protection for preventing an accidental mag release. Uh, this has the A-type a uh, front sight, carry handle, and it. All right, everybody. Sorry about the delay uh, interruption again. I should say, um, wife and family came home, and obviously made my original filming area untenable, and so I retreated to the confines of the garage, as you can see. But it is quiet. A little bit hot in here, but it is quiet. Anyway, to finish off this. Uh, VR for Ebo Me on uh, uh, Vietnam Air uh, AR-15. This is again what uh, we are talking about for the time being. This is all original. Uh, like I said, I bought this in 1969. I think I paid somewhere around $300 for it back in the day. It was a little bit of money at that time, but uh, as it turned out, it uh, was a nice investment. Still got the original muzzle cap protector. Um, like I said, the original stock A3 front sight, bayonet lug, original strap that came with it. This had the uh, uh, opened. Give me a second here. Yeah, finally got it 
they're open. That's where uh, the tubes would keep their uh, cleaning kit. I have since lost track of where that uh, wound up, so I'm going to probably replace that one of these days. The other uh, thing I want to show you is the, along with this, I still have the uh, believe it or not, the original owner's manual. It is obviously somewhat frayed over the years and it's kind of cool. It's like the pages are yellowed. And of course the uh, glue has since given up. But everything is still here. Pretty cool. Got the original Colt magazine that came with the rifle. Then I uh, picked up also uh, to finish this off I got an original M7 Vietnam era bayonet it goes with it. The bayonet comes with, this is the M7, the bayonet comes with the M8 scabbard or sheath. Both are Vietnam era original equipment. So E, this one's for you dude. Uh, your 1969 Vietnam era AR-15 Colt. Hope you enjoy. Thanks, guy.